Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be doing a spread in my memory planner with the new Let's Go collection from Coco Daisy. I have my photos printed. I have a few items I know I am hoping to use. These two pieces of paper, the sticker sheet. We're gonna see if we can use some stamping and then some other rub-ons as well. And I feel like I'm gonna do something very vertical and do like alternating vertical of this and then the ledger and then this and then the ledger so that it repeats, change up the dates and then stamp and stuff where we can and add some stickers, um, kind of like a passport looking one. So like kind of like looking at like this because this is really cute as well, but I just knew that they would all get cut randomly. So I figured with some of the icons and stuff, we can rearrange it as it should be and then figure out where to put the pictures as well as the journaling. So let's get started. Okay, I do stick with the initial um, design idea I talked out with you about alternating the paper designs to um, have vertical columns on my memory planner. This layout overall was very consistent. It, it turned out to be very balanced. I have done this layout in the past, so not to say it's a go-to, but I know it looked pleasant in the past whenever I've used it with other um, you know, paper, pattern paper collections. So with the Let's Go pattern paper, this is the Let's Go kit, um, and these are the six by eight pattern papers in the kit from Coco Daisy. Um, so for me, sometimes, especially with other memory planners, so say like in my pocket pages or 12 by 12, I have a hard time using the six by eight because if you know me, I like to be outside the page protectors and six by eight fits inside the page protector. There's nothing wrong with it. There isn't. Um, but I just like to have the full page B of it and not put it in a page protector when I'm using it. So in my memory planner, it's the perfect place to use these papers, especially if you trim them down a little bit. So right now I just whited out all of the days of the week because I love that the journaling kit comes with, I think, three or four sets of days of the week stickers so that clearly planner babes can use them in their planner and have all of their months look consistent or cohesive with this collection for the month of June. Uh, this one, it's kind of like a, a 3D um, shadowed letter and I loved it. And the colors obviously all match and it's just perfect to use. So anytime I'm doing a memory planner kit, with Coco Daisy, I always blot out the days of the week because they have so many fun fonts and they also incorporate the colors and or the illustrations into the kits as well with the titles and that works out just fine for me. So you can see my photos are two by two squares. I did a probably a collage of the six by six. That is my go-to way to kind of have the, as many po pictures as possible, either a six by uh, the six, which is two by twos, or I get eight on there when they turn into, what is it, an, they, like an inch and a half by uh, two is how they turn out when they're an eight photo collage. Either way, it works, but I think I always go with six if I have a little, if I took a little bit less photos for the week because you only get six rather than eight. Um, and that's okay. Some weeks are heavy on photos for me. Um, I am definitely the mom slash person that at least takes one picture a day. Uh, I don't think there hasn't been a time in my scrapbooking career that I have not taken a picture of something. Even if it's a screenshot, there is always something per day on my camera roll. And so it's easy for me to go back and just kind of see what kind of week it was because maybe I was sick. But even when I'm sick, I'm still taking pictures of like my tissue pile and the medicine counter. You know, the counters are like with all the medicine I'm taking. So I still scrap. I am very observant in my life. And this is part of like my, you know, obviously this is why I love my hobby. So what I, you see me doing now is just going through a lot of the rub-ons. The rub-ons are fantastic. If you haven't used Coco Daisy rub-ons, they are fantastic. And I'm kind of also trying to mimic that um, matchbook, not matchbook, like a passport stamp randomly all over the place because it's a travel-y kind of themed uh, collection. So I'm definitely trying to give homage to that and and have the inspiration look as if I've traveled and these are all my food stickers and little diner stickers that I've collected. Um, and so that's kind of how it is. Um, what you also see me doing, if you can tell, is being a little mo intentional with monochromatic. So orange things go on orange sides of the paper, blue on blue at tones of the paper, green on green. And that worked out pretty good. When I'm on the ledger paper, just kind of use some of the random ones that are there. 
off the top from what my journaling will be, me looking through while I'm doing the voiceover, you can see I, I am at the car wash. Uh, this place opened new near us, so I'll be talking about that, and that Valentina was with me and she did all the vacuuming. Uh, I can see that Daddy is helping her do homework. That's always a thing that we kind of get stuck on doing. We forget to do her computer homework more more than not. It, it's, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> then there's a picture of uh, Grandma and Valentina uh, behind an aquarium tank. We went to go see a show at the aquarium. And then on Sunday, we went to brunch with our friends. So those are the two, the two pictures on the Sunday column. And now I'm using the stamp sets. The stamp sets have a very, obviously, consistent theme where it's like the little bagel guy, the little milkshake, and then they have cute sentiments that I'm kind of going. It says, let's go, and where to next, um, let's take a break, and I'm just using black, um, like probably archival ink, maybe intense ink, and that is what I'm using. Overall, like I said, it just, it looks so, like it looks scrapbooky too, you know, like when you can't get little business cards and stuff, that's how you like kind of keep it in a notebook. Such a fun look, bright colors, love how it turned out. I'm a little bit behind, but we're going to catch up in my memory planner, so stay tuned for more pages. Uh, but this turned out fantastic. Okay, a little last minute stickle action. Um, I recently bought a lot of these, and so now I just try an excuse to find them. So that will wrap up this layout because I did it kind of like color coding on the stripes. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, look at that shimmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's so, and so, yeah, it looks fantastic. And so all I do, and I'll show you real quick, I'll do it with either sea glass or waterfall. We'll do waterfall. Um, so I just take a little dollop, just so in case you ever want to do it. A little dollop and dab, 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 dab. Now, the only thing I will say is that I don't know where I added like a here since I'm adding it just a little bit just to show how I did it um if I'll be able to have my penmanship be over it but some of the areas where there would be no penmanship isn't a problem and you just kind of do 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 and just a little dollop and just kind of smudge it out so it's not like one big um glitter clump and all you know gets a little sticky on your finger but you wipe that off not the end of the world and so that's how I just did a little bit of this right now onto the areas so that there was a little bit of sparkle and shine and what I do know also is that um a stickles I don't know the color was added to one of the kits I don't remember which kit name it was but I know it's part of her ability to not have like a repeating pen or a repeating notepad or something, I remember her uh, saying, and that way she can add fun products like stickles to the kit. But I do believe it, it was more of like a mint color to match that one. So it is available. And so I was just playing with the ones I have. And so yeah, that's how the sparkle goes. Yeah, but look how cute I did it all there love it all right so it did definitely turned into like a little bit of a almost like a passport stamp book with everything I love the way it turned turned out I have the a collection of the stamping the rub-ons and the die cut so that worked out really well in this very vertical lined um layout I only had a few pictures which also probably helped to make it look a lot like scrapbooky on here and then the titles for the days of the week also turned out really well on there really like the stickles let me just go wash my hands see it gets a little little glittery could be worse <laughs> but look at all that shine and sparkle super fun I hope you give it a try find it inspirational tag me if you do with some stickles in your memory planner thank you so much for joining me I will leave everything that I used linked down below including the journal stickers journaling sticker kit and the mod the the scrapbooking core kit is what it was called um but i'll leave all the details down in the description box for you so thank you so much for joining me please subscribe if you haven't done so and until next time everyone bye <laughs>